This is a cob based LED headlight and I got it at a local shop here in Ramsey in the Isle of Man and I, I just wanted to see how it compared because normally when you think of a headlight you think of these ones with the uh, lensed LED in them that project a splash of light directly at where you're working but unlike that the cob one has a linear array of LEDs. It's a matrix of LEDs, but there's no focusing, there's no lens. And it's really odd when you wear it, because when you're used to going into, say, a dark room and there's a zone of light that you're looking at, you're just, the area you're looking at is lit up. What this does is it just washes the whole area with light. And it's not mega bright, because obviously the cob doesn't have the lensing system on it. And in a way that's, you know, it's it means you're getting less light. If you're working on something up close, you're getting less light than you would with the lens. But... It's quite nice, actually, when you're just walking around in a sort of general area and the whole place is lit. It's not just one patch of light. So I thought, let's uh, take it to bits. So the first thing is that it's got a standard bike chip in it. It goes full, medium, and then strobing and back off. So let's uh, get the cover off this. Uh, oh, I should also mention, it's got the typical adjustable sort of headband and so on. Uh, so let's uh, pop this off if we can. Can I? Yes, I can. Oop. And pop the cover off. It's got a wee sort of finger and a grip here. So it takes uh, three AAA cells, as you kind of expect of these things. And then it's got four screws. One. Two. These ones are tucked under the springs, which makes them just a little bit more inaccessible. Right. How is this going to come to bits? Does the back come out? Uh, screwdriver. So, oh, it's kind of not coming to bits. Right. Okay, so the circuit board's loose. There's the cob. Oh, right, the whole lot's come out. Excellent. Eh? So the cob is heat staked onto a little aluminium back panel. The circuit board is strangely big. Oh, it's got a tiny little uh, six pin chip. I wonder if that's a six pin chip they commonly use in the. Um, Sort of the sort of larger headlights, you know, like the this type of thing. Is that I'm trying to remember if that is a six pin or if it's a little eight pin. I think it is a six pin. Does it have a number on it? I can't see a number on it. Then again, my my magnifying glass has just steamed up. It's got a a capacitor. It's got a resistor. I'm guessing the capacitor is largely just... Oh, well, I think that might be coupling for the button. Uh, just it might be to prevent uh, false triggering. And that resistor is probably a pull-up pull resistor. Yes, it is a pull-up resistor. To the button input. Uh, then the chip, and then it's got two little resistors here that just limit the current out to the LED. I'm going to have a... Now, where is that? My little microscope. I'm going to have another go at reading... I don't know if there are numbers on that chip, but the only way to find out is to have a good close look at it. Yes, there is. It says A26. I don't, it's actually it's one of those chips that the it's so etched, uh, it's just etched into the surface and it's quite hard to read. It either says A26B or just A2, A266. Not sure, it's really not clear at all. But uh, really not much to it, is there? Fundamentally, it is just the, the cob. Oh, let's just snap the cob off here. Let's see if I can actually get it off and take a look. I don't know if there's any real point in doing this. Actually, no, it's not. I'll put it back together again. That's. I'll keep it intact. Um, I'll, I'll try and read the number off that chip and I'll leave it in the description down below if I can see what it is, but that's fundamentally 
it. There's really not an awful lot to it. Uh, I'll also uh, read the numbers off these components and just make a note down down in the description as well. So yeah, that's fundamentally it. It's the little, it's the uh, aluminium core PCB material with about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chips in it. Well, let's see what the current draw is. I'll get the power supply on here. Let's see if I can not do what I did there with one of the other ones and connect it with the wrong polarity. So I'm going to wind this down to about 4.5 volts, which is the sort of like fresh set of good batteries type of voltage. So that's a 4.5. This is the negative connection. This is a positive connection. Turn it on. Full brightness. It's drawing 361 milliamps. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Uh, at the 4.5 volts, that's a... Oh, typically it'll be about 3 volts across LEDs, so it's actually about 1 watt, isn't it? So let's turn the voltage down progressively. Yep, there's a... Yeah, there's 10. 10 chips in there. And if that's a... The, each one is seeing roughly 30 milliamps with fresh cells, um, and then that'll fall progressively. Let's see what it would be by the time a set of rechargeables had got to about, say, 3.6 volts. Uh, it goes down to about 178 milliamps, so just under 20 milliamps per LED. So that's uh, that's not too bad. It's not grossly overdriving the chips then, is it? Um, and of course they have this heatsink plane in the back, so it's all right. I quite like that one. Um, I quite like the fact it is a diffused light versus, you know, just a, a spot of light where you're looking. So uh, yeah, it's quite a neat little light.